Cool. Charlie, you seem pretty excited today. Sure. Welcome to the official podcast. The, uh, this is episode 224, the follow-up to uh, Incels in Space, which was one of the biggest episodes we've the ever done. Seller. I think we had, yeah, I think yeah. we had 5 million concurrent viewers in the Discord. So, I mean, it's, it's oh, been a wild yeah. one. Hopefully we can follow it up. <laughs> Most of them NASA employees, apparently, from what I'm seeing, Charlie, since they've yeah. seemed to have stolen your <laughs> idea. <laughs> what, I know. what are the odds that, I, I, I don't know, we seem to have this uncanny ability to will things into existence just by speaking about them on the podcast. It's yeah, just, I couldn't tell you. That's been like an idea that I've kept very near and dear to my heart for a couple months now. And then the second I bring it up on the podcast, the next day, they announce that they have completely stolen my idea, plagiarized it, and are actually putting it into practice. Of course, I'm talking about the cum missile. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, go over it for the, the three people who didn't manage to tune into that episode. Yeah, I just I, I hypothesized that a very good leap forward for humanity would be putting a bunch of cum on a rocket and sending it to space. And the day after I once again go over that theory, NASA announced that that's exactly what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Let's read the article here because you guys are being very vague without actually mentioning the news. Uh, scientists want to send 6.7 million sperm samples to the moon. That's exactly that's how many I said to in my theory. <laughs> Did you actually? <laughs> s- wait. <laughs> yep. No. Oh, my God. That is uh, they want a modern global insurance policy. Mechanical engineers have proposed that humans establish a repository of reproductive cells, sperm or ova, from 6.5, uh, 6.7 million of Earth's species, including humans. Oh, 6. God. It's species. not just humans. It's a whole bunch of other... Oh. It's like a fucking Bukaki missile. Yeah, of sperm buffet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jesus. So oh we're going to like jerk off the whole fauna of Earth and... Spunk the moon, I guess. We're gonna, and we're gonna create like intergalactic so monstrosities, cum. like human, yeah, human rhinoceros hybrids on the moon or something. It's gonna be horrifying. I, it's a great idea. I mean, it is a bit of a modification from what I said, since they're not planning on blowing it up and just sending it throughout space in like a giant load. They're doing 250 individual rocket launches of payloads of cum. Payloads. And basically setting up like an intergalactic gas station for aliens to stop by and just take some samples, kind of. That's how I view it, like a food court of cum. Are they sending uh, eggs up, like female eggs? No, don't be ridiculous, yeah. Jackson. No, they well, they said ova. Hmm. So they took it a step further, I see. Really, what if by ova they mean like anime? That would fucking suck if you put that on the moon. But- <laughs> Is this a smart idea? You know, I, I've noticed they that just say as a species, <laughs> DVDs of like their favorite like as anime. As a species, here on Earth, we're all about privacy. You know, we we fucking tell each other not to give our private information out that easily. You know, we consider doxing each other to be a very evil thing to do. And yet, you know, we we just give out give out our shit freely to the universe. We have a oh, fucking golden disc out there doxing our location, showing not- a naked man, naked woman. Now we're giving them fucking sperm samples. S- sending out sending out fucking sperm isn't going to give away anything about our identity. What, you think they're going to run like a twenty three and me over on? Yeah. Uh, Why would you ever give uh, give an alien an alien enemy nation your sperm? Well, they're just not you, yeah. Yeah. You know that, you, enemies. Yeah, you hate them already. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I mean, hey, <laughs> from I every mean, alien movie I've seen, it usually doesn't end well for us. Yeah, I, That's I not think true. I think they pro- he's pro- probably correct. If their first interaction with us is we launch a giant cum missile at them and <laughs> coat their cities in our jizz, they might come after us. <laughs> I, I think I'd be pretty yeah, pissed. Like here, here's Earth. Here's our. Uh, you know, weak points. Here's our entire genetics. Hey, feel free to clone us and mutilate us and, you know, I don't know, cross fucking uh, pollinate our women's ovas or whatever the fuck we're sending up there. Like, have fun. No, at least make them pay for it or something. Just send it up <laughs> in a fucking, I don't know, coin slot machine at least. 
We like, are. It's kind of like dangling a carrot in front of their face. We'd finally have, they'd have to make a stop at the moon to collect the cum and interact with us. So we'd finally have proof that they're out there. Oh. It could be just like actually cum hungry species. You mean. So it's bait. Oh, you mean this is like bait. Mm -hmm. We're going to bait cum hungry aliens. Wait, 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 that's even worse. We're just going to attract like sexually aggressive aliens to come like Perfect. sexually harass us. Uh, Better than okay, not knowing they're out there. Zing. Yeah. Everyone knows the strongest attracting force in the universe is horniness. So just launching like cum and porn and all sorts of shit's gonna get all sorts well, of life. Is cum horny inducing? Like I don't mm -hmm. feel like if you just see cum like in a, I mean, a vial, no, you get excited. Cum, cum is horny inducing when it's inside me. Like it makes me horny. I think <laughs> you I might want to think about what you just said, Jackson. <laughs> 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 wait, what? <laughs> wait, like when? Right, wait, 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 wait! I can save it. When, when the cum is in my testicles, it makes me horny. Like because when you come, the horny disappears. No, obviously. that's not what you meant. No, no, it is. You, you make the worst politician ever. You give people so many nice just clips, like, like sound bites <laughs> that you then have to walk back. <laughs> I'm, I'm standing by that message. I mean, you're not wrong. We all That's know that, platform. you know, the pent up balls feeling like, oh, God damn it, I need a release. But I was like, I, oh man, aliens could lure us out of Earth so easily if they like just sent us, you know, I don't know, nudes. Tinder messages. Of yeah. The th yeah, like the three titted bitch from Total Recall. You know, I, I bet we'd be on Mars by now. Well, why do we have this... Uh, everyone seems to have this idea that aliens are just going to be humanoids, but different colors, like green humans with nice tits. They're not. It's they're going to be like that would be hot. They're going to be like you blob don't know. people or something. They're just blobs. Mm, I believe it was Stephen Hawking that uh, deduced that aliens would most likely look like little reptiles. Why? He uh, he said that probably that's what would have evolved out there in space is something like to survive a harsh climate. So he speculated it'd be like little reptiles or animal well, things. Wait, how, how does he know it's going to be a harsh climate? Yeah, like, how the fuck? Because every There's planet like we've discovered is like a fucking terrible climate for life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but OK, but there's like 40 billion trillion something Earth like planets exoplanets there, there, there's plenty of reason to assume that somewhere out there are people you know blue sexy aliens running around saying sahelu and bonding with their fucking ponytails but the problem is that the distance to get to those is astronomical to try to cross any planet that's close to us is like super uninhabitable so that's where they yeah, would have the point, though. apparently still that doesn't have to be full of reptiles the reptiles is all i mean I, stephen hawking is wrong and he's dead so his yeah point is he mute. did die because the rest of got that. to him <laughs> How yeah. long has it been since that man's been dead, by the way? Has it been like two years, three years? Something like that. They should send him up with a cum missile. Three want. years ago. Oh my god, three years ago today. How does this Holy keep happening? Shit. He died exactly wow. three years ago today. How do, what do we I do? willed it into existence wow. yeah. the anniversary of it. <laughs> Holy shit! This uh, when we talk we about witches or whatever. Or did they, yeah, did they start, did they imbue our show with magical properties? What's happening? <laughs> if anything, they cursed us. I don't think that community was very happy of us making fun of them. <laughs> I never made fun of them. I I stand with my witches. I, I think we all did. Okay, never mind. What did they do with? So what did they do with Stephen Hawking? Did they cremate him, bury him? But. If I was Elon Musk, I would have put his wheelchair in space. That would be cool to With have. With him strapped Earth. to it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that would be awesome. He can't even like decompose or anything in it, right? I mean, it's yeah, space. He's preserved just be... forever. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been awesome. I would have. He would have. He definitely had the clout to demand that if he wanted to. He should have. I assume he wanted his body donated to science. I feel like that's probably the most likely thing. Maybe not. Boring. <laughs> yeah. You could have donated it to aliens. Do you guys feel like you care that much about what happens to your body after death? Not at all. I care for my family. I yeah. don't want it to get, like, fucked. <laughs> not at all. I don't yeah, care I want, at all. I want a dignified death, but we, we've talked about this before, I'm pretty sure. 
Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm with Andrew though. I just don't. I I, I wouldn't yeah. care. To you me, there's the no you reason to care at all. Uh, You're gone. Well, not to I, you, but yeah, your loved ones might care for you know. I don't know. Somebody mouth fucks your corpse. Oh, they yeah. might be a little upset. They would care, but, but I'd be dead, so I wouldn't care. Yeah, not if it's done in private. I'm just saying, be respectful about <laughs> right. how you do it. Don't do it in front of my family. <laughs> I want a dignified fucking. I want to fuck the funeral, but like, I I when I die, I want it to be in a way where nobody can pin it on me as my fault. Like, you you, you guys remember the billionaire who died during a dick operation? Mm -hmm. like, yeah. That is just the most embarrassing way to die. That's how people are gonna remember you. Is oh yeah, the micro dick, and he died of it basically. No, I want something super fucking sad. Like, I don't know. Uh, ISIS shot up the supermarket I was sh uh, shopping at. It's like just something that is not my fault at all, so nobody can pin it on me. Are you that worried about people thinking you'd kill yourself? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> no, not myself. What I don't want is something like slipping on a banana peel and hitting my head on the curb, right? Because uh, then people aren't gonna be like, "Oh, he had it coming. Look at this dummy!" <laughs> ha ha. Darwin you know, award something winner. like that. What an idiot. Yeah. It, Right, Darwin Award winner, he was running at a fucking family with a knife for his YouTube channel. No, 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 just find something that's not my fault. Oh, yeah, drunk driver. <laughs> yeah, well, I, no, I don't want that. I don't want to be killed by a drunk driver. I want to die peacefully in my sleep, believe it or not. Or that, yeah, it's also a good one. At the ripe old age of 200. <laughs> Minimum. So then, do you care what kind of funeral you have? Would you like a big extravagant affair, or do you think you just want a small family situation with, like, I don't know, five, ten people? No, no, small family situation. I, I have nothing to be extravagant about. I, I, there are, <laughs> I, you'll be surprised to hear this, Jackson. There are very few people that I care about, and there are very few people who care about me. So I don't need that many people at my funeral. <laughs> It'll be a small venue. <laughs> it's not a concert. <laughs> no plus ones. <laughs> Where are you going to bring your girlfriend? <laughs> Be my guest. We'll have an open buffet and an open <laughs> casket, hopefully, unless I got like fucking mauled by a bear. <laughs> <laughs> I should insist on an open casket, especially if it was a gruesome death. Like, look. <laughs> <laughs> look at what Rub happened. it in you guys' face. What the fuck is that? Oh, what someone's is that? calling me. Oh, it's Which one of you got into an elevator? <laughs> so, <it's> my <laughs> Sorry. My, my mom's like, I felt something. I felt my ears ringing. <laughs> Were you talking about dying? <laughs> you have to stop doing this, son. Again. This is the fourth time this week. Hey, I'd like to RSVP <laughs> for your funeral. <laughs> she, hey, hey, Kyle, we got your casket. Where do you want it? <laughs> how many seats? <laughs> how many how much seats food should I bring? Oh, I thought you meant how many seats in the casket. Like, how many are you taking with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it. Oh, it depends on how you guys behave. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I don't know. How do you guys want to die? Uh, I would like to invent a method to instantly numb any and all suffering and pain in my body. So that way I can kick it in Morphine. right before I die. And the way I die is a spectacular like display. Like I explode. Or I, or I like you take you take a city with you or something. Yeah, or I like rub, like I don't know. I'm traveling on a rocket at a hundred miles an hour and I splat into the ground or something. But I, I, I just don't want it to be suffering and painful. I just want it to be cool. So yeah, pain fucking blows. So I'd, I'd have a kill switch, like a little button in my hand, and if I push it, it severs my spinal cord, so I no longer feel anything. So, like, I would, I don't know, I'd ride a nuclear warhead and just push the button before it fell to the ground. And that's how I'd want to go, or something. Something cool. Well, I, I don't, I don't think you have to, you'd really have to have a button for that. I think the, the explosion would be so swift, you wouldn't feel anything anyway. I'd, I'd die like a cartoon character, like, you know, when they go to open their mouth when they're expecting a food. Coyote. Yeah, like, they go to open their <laughs> mouth with their eyes closed, expecting, like, a pie or food, and then they get hit in the face by something. I would I would do that in real life with like an anvil at a hundred miles an hour, and it would just decapitate me. 
and I'd film it <laughs> clean. Nice. Yeah. Oh, you'd film it? Well, how else would everyone know that I died in such a cool way? But why does it matter? You're doing it for you. Mm, yeah, but it would be cool to have that as a legacy, like the drone footage. Yeah, preserve it for future generations. Everyone could talk about it. That was the coolest death ever. Uh, I, I think the only real answer is like in between the thighs of like the most attractive woman in the world, like supermodels or like a whole bunch of them just, you know, squashing you out basically. And then you die happy. I don't think suffocation is that great. Jackson. Yeah, it's not a great way to I go. I think that's pretty painful, actually. Yeah, it'll be fine. We'll make it work. I, you can't, you can't say that. That's not like probably, like when it comes to death, that's probably like the best way to die. Is how the death is not pleasant Slowly though. Like, and painfully, the thighs would be yeah. comfortable, but the whole time I'd be going, "Let me out! Let me out! Stop! Fuck! Shit!" <laughs> Cut it yes. out. It's just smothering you yeah. just because she's smothering you with her ass right, doesn't right, right. suddenly no, make it right. great. Fine, fine. No suffocation. You, yeah. you get to do the deed with them, but then like you come so hard that you die. Like your heart yeah, stops. Yeah, as I'm coming, my heart just stops oh, and okay I'm just gone. That. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's fine. Yeah. I, I, I think the best that. death is the one that's like at the very end of the universe's life during the heat death where you're the last human standing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that too. <laughs> what if that's the, what if that's like the absolute most painful death that could possibly exist though because you feel <laughs> every single individual atom of yours like splitting in half or something it's like you I'd really have feel... so much knowledge by then I would have transcended the construct of pain why do you assume that you're just going to be smart by the end of all, all of this you're not I'd be such a genius what if you yeah. what if you what it's if you um, time almost what if you go senile within 60 years and then you have all of eternity as a senile old man forgetting how to wipe his ass? Awesome, still, so we could keep fine. forgetting and re-remembering and reliving. Yeah. Awesome. That sounds, that, yeah. Yeah, you act as Being if you'll just... And having, you act as if the forgetting part yeah. also comes with remembering. No, it's just all forgetting. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. No, I could but be like the fucking Ice King in Adventure Time and he's still pretty cool. Yeah, you can look at Ro Cassiopeia and be like, oh, look at that. That is an amazing how huge that star is. And then five seconds later, will relive that same wonder yeah. because he had just forgotten. Or you could be a babbling goddamn mess that's completely dependent on other people to do anything. Yeah, I was going to say, don't people usually get now, more dependent and, and like, for lack of a, bit yeah. of, uh, lack of a so better word, stupider people, as time goes on? So people have this misconception that Alzheimer's is like ADHD, where it's just like you can't focus and you're like, oh, look at this thing. Oh, isn't this nice? Who it's has like, that misconception? I've, <laughs> yeah, I've never heard that. Literally, wonder, I've never heard that. Everybody knows Alzheimer's is awful. Yeah, it's the worst fucking thing ever. Just kind of ramble inside your own mind. Oh well, did we add, did we make any progress on the euthanasia front at all? Which one? As a like, I don't know, and, and euthanasia like is I that know, still? We had a concentrated effort. What, yeah, are we trying we to euthanize to people? Oh, when I did know, this like a couple. Of, well, a couple of years ago, there was this whole debate about whether or not you should be able to help terminally oh, ill, yeah, yeah, ill yeah, people yeah. die without pain or not, or is it inhumane? Are we playing God? Is it murder? Is it compassionate? Is it this? Is it that? I just wondered, I, don't, I just thought of it, I just wondered if there's now finally a consensus on that thing. Mm. Uh, there's definitely not a consensus, I can say that for sure. That's that, that's one of those moral arguments that's going to be raging for all of time, pretty much, I, I think. And I think we're going to make it come to a consensus on can that. Can we... It's like abortion. Can we reach consensus by the time I have cancer growing out of my asshole and I'm like 90 years old? <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Can we at least like have a consensus of, I don't know, one of you guys sneaking morphine into my room and then forgetting it there <laughs> and leaving for five minutes? Yeah, you just got to get creative with it. I mean, it's it's possible. Like you can accomplish anything. You don't need the government. Oh, no, I know. I read, like I read an article. I know that a lot of doctors already do it. They just have to do it under the table, basically. They have to actually do what I just said. They basically say, oh, it's a mistake. Or if they don't want to jeopardize themselves, they basically... Like, you know how patients have that morphine drip? 
and that thing has a code to turn it up it has like a little pin code you know so the doctor as he's leaving the room he'll turn to the nurse and say oh by the way the code is 3654 but he'll say it loud enough so the patients can hear intentionally so that gives him plausible deniability in case he's ever uh, trotted in front of a tribunal well, wait, why, why is he and telling the patient the, pa- the patient's going to die? He can't testify for the doctor. No, he, he tells the patient so the patient knows the code and can crank it up while no one's in the room. This is sad. Uh, <laughs> this is really sad. Mm. We need a happier yeah. topic. What's your fun topic, Andrew? Yeah, what's something Give happy, happy Andrew? Topic. Ritual. <laughs> Tell us about it. Oh, I will. Because here's the thing about Ritual. <laughs> ritual exactly. is a clean, vegan-friendly multivitamin that's formulated with high-quality nutrients in bioavailable forms your body can actually use. We deserve to know what we're putting in our bodies and why, especially when it com- comes to something you take every single day. I mean, you're not going to find sugar. You're not going to find GMOs. You're not going to find major allergens. You're not going to find artificial colorings in Ritual. That'd be insane. That's not what they stand for. That's not what it's all about. Vitamins are something that people take all the time. They have their reasons for it. They're different supplement balances. They're different brands that they like. But let me tell you something. Ritual makes everything easy, clean, and simple. And it contains key nu- key nutrients in forms your body can use to fill the gaps in your diet with no shady extras. They're available for women, men, and teens. And Ritual multivitamins are scientifically developed to help support different life stages. You can get key nutrients with a BS and get 10% off during your first three months by going to ritual.com official to start your ritual today. That's 10% off your first three months at ritual.com slash official check out these vitamins they are also hey, yeah. sent go ahead jackson no, no no you finished the ad i was gonna just bring something up they Sorry. are also sent with a lovely minty tab that keeps them fresh i thought that would be important because a lot of store-bought vitamins they don't have that they're just kind of like sitting in the shelf for god knows how long and they get musky and stale and ew. you don't want so that. is that your favorite aspect of ritual is the nice minty no, I think my favorite is no fillers, no colorants, no shady additives. That's the real bad stuff. That's not what you which want to vitam- eat. Which vitamin are you the biggest fan of? What's your favorite vitamin? Ooh, vitamin cool is pretty good. I take nice. that. I take. I overdose on that every day. <laughs> you need a cool supplement? <laughs> That's kind of sad. Yeah. I thought you'd naturally produce it. No, I got addicted to it. So <laughs> I, I made too much, and then I decided to take more, and now I overdose on it. And it, it just flows out of my body like sweat. Oh, man. That's disgusting. Yeah, you can kiss my forehead and instantly grow sunglasses. It's cool. I fucking hate junkies. <laughs> There's nothing cool about addiction, Andrew. <laughs> there is about this one, baby. Anyway, moving on to my fun topic. Fuck daylight savings. Why do we still do it? Do we still need yeah. it? Like, do we? I fucking hate daylight I savings. Know. It's I, an outdated piece of shit. I, I, I researched I, I it agree. last night. Still it's done. just for farmers, right? We do no. this every single time. We have to switch fucking times. And the stupid thing is that it's not even like... Like, Jackson and I, as far as I know, we have to switch, like, two weeks from now. We haven't even been through daylight savings. Did I just have a fucking universal time thing? And just stick to just that. Is it, hmm. Don't we have UTC or something? Why can't every country just use that? Couldn't tell you. Yeah. So All at once. Charlie, Charlie said he'd researched it last night. Can you tell me why daylight savings exists then? It was created by an evil man known as George Hudson, who was a fan of golf and was tired of having to play into the night sometimes. Is that true? That's a little tidbit. He proposed it because he... It was some... Fuck, I'm already forgetting. Uh, I, I researched it once the time jumped, so it was already 3 a.m. <laughs> uh, George Hudson proposed it because... It gave workers one extra hour of sunlight, so when they got off work, it wouldn't be dark. That was one of the main ones. He tried to sync it because in other parts of the world, they'd have like a little extra light. 
uh, depending on the time of year during like summer and winter. So he tried to equalize it for workers around these parts. Why? No, that doesn't make sense. Why not just tell them, hey, get up at six instead of seven? Why mm -hmm. did he have to shift time itself? Like, no, it's still going to be seven, but an hour earlier. Wink, wink. What? Yeah. How that's powerful fucking is this confusing. Man? So hey, that's how can you manipulate time? That's also the funny thing. Like they're saying, oh, you have an extra hour of light. Hooray. When making people lose an hour of sleep probably causes far more damage. Yeah. Like sleep is incredibly important and most people don't get enough as it is. But now we're having them get up even earlier. Like, fuck that. You're going to cause so many more road accidents, so much more aggravation and hostility. It's stupid. It's fucking stupid. Yeah. Also, you can have I'm your precious little angry. son. Woohoo! We've had electricity for hundreds of years now. We don't need it. But, uh, you know, get well, your fucking son. Get your daylight so your hour long drive home can be at least nicely illuminated. Fucking stupid. I hate daylight savings. I don't see the point of it anymore. Fuck. Oh, uh, Apparently. What was that uh, rant about? And that's I, I'm looking up some articles right now, and I was before we started the show because I was thinking about this last night too. Apparently, the claims that like it's more efficient and saves money as well are now being hotly debated, and people are like, "No, experts are like it actually really doesn't anymore. It just it just costs money, doesn't wait, provide uh, wait, benefit." I, I how how could it possibly save money? You just wake you up an hour earlier. So the people later. people believe that since more people are up during these times and they have more sunlight, you need less electricity and other things because it's like, oh, we have the sun. But apparently there's been research in 2016 and beyond that's like, nope, it doesn't really save any money. Just just kind of doesn't. So that's good. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty fucking dumb. Yeah, I'm... Uh, God damn it. I'm just looking at any actual pros and cons for this, and the pros, all of them are like, it's brighter outside. And the cons are like, people get sick and overworked because they lose sleep. It costs money and doesn't really save any money. <laughs> it doesn't save energy. It's like, like, what's the point of it? Why do we still have it? I thought... I really thought it had something to do with farmers. I thought farmers lobbied for... Uh, at least it might just be over here, maybe. But um, I thought they lobbied for it because, like, something to do with how the cows operated, how the cows were able to get awake up, like awake in time. Maybe the cows follow daylight saving times more strictly. I don't know. So just it's again, why, why rename it though? Just again, just get an hour earlier. Just change your fucking schedule instead of changing the fucking timetable itself. Don't make sense. Hmm. I have another topic if you do want to switch off daylight savings. It's one I'm reading about right now. I just learned. The only other relevant point I was going to make that's not even interesting was uh, apparently it's called daylight saving time and daylight savings time is a misnomer. Did not know that. <laughs> so we've been saying it wrong all these years. Yeah, that's because we don't respect it. Yeah. Fuck you, daylight saving time. No, uh, you said it right. Yeah. You said it the correct way. Well, I wanted to make sure it heard me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Charlie. I guess all I really had for that topic was I hate daylight saving time. <laughs> I don't ever... As you should. Yeah. And everyone should. I can give you another thing to hate based on what I'm reading. Sure. Oh. Uh, I know we all like all gas, no brakes, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, his channel has now just been completely fucked. Uh, his company that he was signed to, Doing Things Media... It has really fucked him in the ass and he has had to step away from the channel all gas no breaks the patreon he can't make money off any of it anymore all because of whatever deal he signed with doing things media so all gas no breaks is kaput for now who is that no permanently so if you didn't know who all gas no breaks is he's that guy who does like 10 minute uh videos of him going to wacky conventions and social outings and like interviewing people at them he did like uh the avn awards the, he, i Flat think he, Earth. Mm -hmm. yeah i think he got big during like the, the the riots or whatever last year right like those were his big videos no, he I did think. a lot of coronavirus stuff oh, that's yeah, when true. a lot of people started picking up on his content i've been watching him since uh fuck probably like the furry one he did a couple what was that almost two years ago now i think yeah yeah he, he's really he's really good he, he he's not 
he doesn't so much as interview them as he does just puts a microphone in their face and lets he's, them he's, dictate where the conversation goes. He's kind of like uh, Nathan Fielder, Nathan for you, mm-hmm. to give people out there a reference who doesn't know, who don't know who he is. Just kind of a like, lets people make idiots of themselves type of guy. Yeah. Yeah. Funny guy. So where did, where did you find this info? I actually just saw it uh, pop up on Reddit. So Andrew made an Instagram post kind of detailing it. I did? And Andrew's Andrew, uh, Andrew, the one behind all gas, no brakes. Oh, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, he said, <laughs> I'm no longer associated with all gas, no brakes. No longer receive any of the Patreon crowdfunding, which is fucked up that doing things media took his fucking Patreon money. YouTube monetization or any other show income. Nick and Evan, who lived in the RV with me and created the original show material, are also no longer involved, and we have no control over the accounts or future of the show. That's insane. Yeah, they really the, got fucked. The company running it has now made the details of the Patreon private, as well as uh, a bunch of the social media stuff. Well, uh, th- if that's a st- I mean, it's a stupid decision by whoever was um, in control of those accounts anyway, who, who, whoever benefited in quotation marks from this arrangement because now they've lost their main talent now yeah what, doing yeah, things so media has to do for the patreon yeah they have nothing uh, i looked at doing things media a second ago they genuinely have nothing but some instagram shit posters all gas no breaks was by far their most well received and biggest client wow so i don't know what the fuck they were thinking now, do you think we we don't necessarily have any details other than what Andrew's posted here on Instagram? Do you think perhaps he got uh, he wanted to renegotiate the deal or something, and he was the one that put pressure on the other company, and then they said no, and then he walked away? Uh, to be fair, he signed the deal a while ago, and this company, yeah. from what I'm reading, has a history of being shady. So he should absolutely have the ability to renegotiate, considering that he's their biggest client and was probably getting fucked by some predatory scheme. Do we know? So, yeah, that's prob- probably what happened. Do we know how old he is? Because apparently he signed the contract when he was 20. No, I don't know how old I think, he is. I think he's like 25. I don't think he's that no. old. No, 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 no. He'd be 22. Jackson. Oh wow, he'd be like twenty two, twenty three. I was just judging it of how he looked. No, 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 he'd be like twenty two or twenty three. Yeah, real shame though. I still think that's one of the most interesting and best channels on YouTube. I've he's never made a bad video. I've always he's, loved his content, just, and it's such a shame to see this. I just looked it up. He's twenty five. He was born nineteen ninety six. Really? Yeah. So on, on the upside, um, Tim Heidecker, who I'm sure a lot of you know out there from like Tim and Eric Awesome Show and a ton of Adult Swim stuff. I'm a big fan of his. Apparently, he was negotiating with Andrew and his crew, as well as doing things media to make a new Internet series for them. Mm-hmm. And uh, even though this all fell through, Tim Heidecker has said he's still going to work with them to help them make content so yeah i saw that as yeah. well i mean he he's not done making content but it oh, is the end of all gas no, no he's, breaks he, he's got it seems like he would have a big presence on other social media that he could use to then kick off whatever he does next i, I think he'll be fine i think he's he can even just do all gas no breaks just with a different name you know what i mean i think he'll be fine <laughs> all yeah, breaks but, no gas but the fact that he has to completely start over is yeah, really no, a fucking shit. shame yeah yeah, I think I think the vast majority of his audience will carry over, though. I mean, if he just says, hey, I'm on this new channel now. It's... And now now he, he can clearly see what his potential is from what he's done before. So he can just set up a Patreon and live off that. He doesn't even have to make brand deals, really. He, he, they were making good money from that Patreon, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I can't believe a percentage of it was going to the uh, doing things media. And the fact that they can just shut it down is crazy. Yeah. So what is doing this, things? This fucking... What is doing things? Media have a hand in that? Do they just own a bunch of different channels and represent them? Yeah, I don't even get it. Like I'm looking at what they own. Like this is the dumbest shit ever. Golfers doing things. Oh. Fa- Do you like golfers doing things? No, it's first time I've heard of it. Yeah, it's it, they, they own Instagram and TikTok meme pages where they just steal Reddit posts. <laughs> One of the other ones they have is called just doing things. And no lie, the newest post from doing things 
is an old um what would I call advice animal thing like the bad luck Brian shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is so fucking dumb. Meet mom, cats doing things, gamers doing things, dogs doing things. I don't get it. I mean, you think it's dumb, but it probably makes money. Like I'm sure dunk. it makes money at some point. Yeah, it's the o- curious, audience is shifting now. How big are they, how big is golfers doing things? Like how is that its own entity? It's Academy Award nominated. Forty seven k followers. That's not even that great. Yeah. And now, now I'm now I'm super confused. I looked up oh. Andrew Callahan on Wikipedia, and I know it's him. Because the article, like the Wikipedia page, is about all gas, no brakes, etc. Like detailing him, and it says he's thirty-two. It says he was born in nineteen eighty-eight. Oh wow! So he could be sixteen years old for all we know, man. The guy's a mystery. Yeah, yeah. I want to know more about him. He's he's interesting. Yeah, I I like that lifestyle of him being on the road, going to all these wacky conventions, living in an RV. I mean, I would hate it, but it's, it's do an the, one. Do the details say what underwear he wears? <laughs> I mean, I think we know him, Andrew. I think we, yeah. I think we know what he wears. Well, he's Go a very on. successful, very handsome, very funny man with a lot of talent. He has to be wearing the undies, right? Well, obviously, uh, yes. the yes. only people that are allowed to wear MeUndies yeah. have to become successful. And, I believe and, I learned that from his episode where he went to the MeUndies convention. And there's even the inverse of it. I believe that <laughs> if you wear MeUndies, you will become successful. If you're not. Mm-hmm. Look, it's it's time to stop messing around. And it's time to talk about something very important, which is your underwear. And that's why we're doing it right this second. I mean, MeUndies hey. believes that undies are something that should be yelled about from the rooftops and shown off in mere selfies for Instagram. They're not undie shy. They're open to talk. Me Undies isn't just here to make sure every booty is comfortable, but they're also limiting the amount of laundry you have. That's pretty thoughtful. They designed a membership that not only saves you 30% on each order, but delivers a fun new pair of undies or socks to your door each month. Plus, you're the boss. You can control your shipments, and you can get early access to the most exclusive prints. They have a whole range of sizes from extra small to 4XL. They even offer the softest in loungewear, so you can fill your closet with things you'll actually want to wear. If you want to get 15% off your first order, free shipping, and a not 90, not 99, but 100% satisfaction guarantee, you can go to MeUndies.com slash official. That's MeUndies.com slash official for free shipping and 15% off your first order. I don't know how many times I have to say this with pure sincerity, but all four of us wear MeUndies. And uh, Mm -hmm. we'll even throw a woman's perspective on there. My girlfriend wears MeUndies. They recently sent her one with a bunch of bears on them. Little cute like bears. It's cute. They're cute. So if you want cute underwear, if you want to be cute like us, you'll go to MeUndies.com slash official. If you want to be Andrew's new girlfriend, you'll have to wear me on these. That's requirement he one. Uh-huh. He doesn't like anything else. That's right. If I if I'm getting freaky with a girl and I pull down her pants and I see that she's wearing anything but me undies, I'm out. I'm just gone. You can't keep me there. Meundies.com slash official. Thanks, me undies. Thank you. So, Jackson, I believe you have a topic about a certain big boy. No. Oh, yeah. We, well, let's leave that for a little <laughs> bit later. I, I was. I still wanted to talk about Andrew. I wanted to talk about all gas, no breaks. Oh, sure. Because, Andrew, you you like to go to conferences and interview people, don't you? Now You've we're, t- we're talking class. about me, Andrew, now, right? Yeah. You, yeah, Andrew Callahan. I've, I've done a one. handful of videos where I've gone to conventions and interviewed people. Yeah. So have you had any super wacky experiences or were you always the wacky one? I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, no, I, I, everything that's good. I just put in the film. That's so he, well, Andrew also didn't go to the same all gas, no breaks convention. Yeah. He went to mainly comic con stuff. So it's people that are just nerdy. Like it's not yeah. people that are talking about how the earth is flat and run by the reptilian overlords. Yeah. Or whatever. The difference is that I was looking to just like, I was looking to be the idiot in my videos where I ask like bad questions and say stupid shit. 
But the flip mm. side for other Andrew's videos is that he goes to conventions where a lot of people say dumb and foolish things and he just kind of, you know, eggs them Puts on them right in the face. You know? Yeah, I'm not making videos to like embarrass people. I'm making it to, you know, do dumb jokes, whereas his was to like point out like, wow, look at this guy really said that. What a moron, you know. So this company that has fucked over his channel or whatever, they sound like Machinima to me. Someone said it in chat as well. Ah. Like, this seems very similar to what Machinima was doing yeah. before they died out, where they don't actually <laughs> contribute to any channels or whatever. They just kind of take a percentage. Well, Machinima's and gone now. Them. They've they've yeah. up and dis and like completely mm. disappeared. They don't even have a website anymore. I don't think. Oh well, yeah, no, they com they're completely gone. Yeah. And it was it was like with a whimper that they went out. They didn't announce anything. They didn't like plan anything. They just <laughs> yeah. they just fucking have faded from existence. And I know because yeah, I got well, fucked website. over by them. Their website, man, that that was such a time capsule. Yep. Holy fuck! You remember booting up those YouTube videos and hearing the little <laughs> logo that would play at the beginning? Yeah, I man, fucking machine. Holy but, shit! Yeah, they they dominated. They were, it, it was such a, yeah, pathetic fall from grace, I think. They just disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. No one's going to miss Machinima. No. Well, who do you think is the current uh, Machinima? Who do you Probably think doing is things media now? <laughs> no, but they're, they're not nearly the same size as Machinima was, so that doesn't count. I, Mike Star yeah, it makes a like good they point. Had one golden goose. I w I was also going to say Rooster Teeth. I think Rooster Teeth is going the way of Machinima. From yep. what I've seen, they're on the oh, way up. Yeah, yeah, they're collapsing real hard at the moment. Yeah, it also didn't help that like every other month, one of their employees had a new like sexual scandal yeah. around them. <laughs> it was, I forgot it about was that. either they had a scandal or they just up and left to do their own thing. Yeah. What is it with dudes still sending their fucking dick pics to people, especially I, when they're just it's embarrassing a great way low to say hello. below average penis, uh, average length penises? Like, what is a self confidence? Can somebody give me like a shred of that confidence to just? How are you this confident? Like, what? I, I don't even remember the guy's name from Rooster Teeth that did this and sent his dick pics to a bunch of fucking people on Snapchat. But like, well, there, there were, you're not there that hot, dude. There were two big ones that I remember. There was Ryan Haywood, who was from Achievement Hunter, but he was far more serious than just sending dick pics. I'm pretty sure he was like uh, statutory raping people. Um, oh, fans. So that was that was. Wasn't he also different. cheating on his wife? Well, yeah, he had a wife. So I like assume, one of them. I one of them kept cool doing this like insanely low IQ move of he would send uh, these underage people I guess photos of himself with a you know a selfie in the mirror with his wife's ass in the back like she's in no, the no, shot no, no. All right, all right, half right. naked no all which right. one well, is you're that sla you're slandering a man that was Adam Kovic and I actually feel I've spoken to Charlie about this I feel extremely I don't know upset or sad for Adam Kovic because he basically got Jennifer Lawrence to, he he had it all these nudes leaked he wasn't sending them to children or anything he wasn't like sending them to people uh, outside of his own interpersonal relationships they should have never been leaked he got catfished basically no they should never have been leaked but yeah I mean he was still cheating and so it was the other one who was well, sending no, no, we, them we, to no, underage we, we people was, which one it was apparently like a consensual thing yeah, with we, his partner's uh, approval I, I, like an open relationships kind yeah. of thing is the vibe that. Then why I the fuck did he apologize and get booted? Because like everyone was on his everything. back, and he was and he was also lumped in with Ryan Haywood, who was statutory raping people. <laughs> it was really, it was honestly probably the worst timing that could have come out. To be yeah, fair, I f oh, I feel so bad for him. I don't know why. I mean, there must have been like uh, like stuff going on behind the scenes at at Funhouse, like the the work offices, because he's friends also like distance themselves from him so maybe he was just a dick behind the scenes i don't know but from what everything that i've read online i feel extremely bad for him i think he got done dirty over this it feels kind it of it was really the nudes were super goofy for sure but like the whole situation <laughs> are. the situation though like he he really didn't do anything wrong it was consensual with his partner and the person that they thought they could trust with them leaked the shit 
So, I mean, it's just rough from everything I've this read. This reminds me some other uh, some other YouTuber chick had her nudes leaked a couple of weeks ago. And I don't want to say her name because I don't want to, like, make it easy to find them. But, I, okay, like, like, I want to see if you if I'm, like, the odd one out here or what you guys think. But I feel like leaking someone's nudes if... You know, putting aside if they got hacked, if you got Jennifer Lawrence or anything, but if you, say, send them to a partner and then he leaks them to get back to, on you, to get revenge, that's a that sexual should be a assault. heavy sex crime in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, it that, is. It, it, it is a sexual sex crime. assault. It's illegal, yeah. And but you are... It, you would take. What is the penalty uh, for it, though? I think uh, that should revenge be... revenge porn, and I know it's, it's actually yeah. a huge penalty. <clears throat> I know it's called revenge porn, but these... Uh, how do I explain this? Fuck, man. I, I, as far as I know, that is extremely difficult to prove, though, in court. It probably is, For the yeah, victims of them. It's a, it's, a new, it's a new kind of concept, yeah. so it's probably pretty hard to prove. Do but they... It, mor- from a moral standpoint, it is absolutely sexual, like a sex... Um, like sexual assault or something because you are doing something with someone else's body that they don't consent to. I mean, it's it's deplorable. You should be put on the sex offender registry, first of all. You absolutely should be on that fucking registry. Everybody should know that you're a sex offender because you are, right? I mean, showing somebody's body, their most intimate parts, to like millions of people on the internet, it's like, you know, it's no worse than if your girlfriend broke up with you with her boyfriend in a cafe or something and then he held her down, ripped her clothes off and then like hold her still and let everybody stare at her body. Yeah. That, that wasn't that wasn't part sexual of the assault. That should be so fucking heavily punished and you are such a fucking douchebag if you leak somebody's nudes. I don't get where, where this fucking thing is. Like, how do you do that to somebody? You're such that's, a piece of shit. Exactly. That's why, I mean, it, again, not to not to go back to Adam Kovic, but I feel so sorry for him because he he had like two terabytes of those most intimate photos <laughs> yeah, put it on was the internet. And then, and then he's the bad guy. He's the, he's the awful person who needs to be fucking, he loses his career. All his friends disappear. He's like secluded from everyone and shunned all because someone else decided to leak his nudes. What the well, fuck? The pro- so the pro- okay, t- t- to credit on the internet, uh, most people didn't know his nudes were leaked by uh, a bad actor. Since it came out with the Ryan Hayward, Ryan whatever his last name, Hayward, Hayward, whatever. Hayward. Yeah, since it came out on that same time, most people lumped those two stories together. So it initially came out saying that he was sending them to fans and that they had finally come forward and leaked it. And then they also tossed in, like, their underage fans. Yeah, not the just that. He, he was also accused of raping uh, minors or whatever. Yeah, because they came so close side, together, they, they meshed on together the, flip side, the two stories. So, on the flip side, though, how the fuck do you still get catfished in this day and age? Never, ever put yeah, your no n- nudes on Google Drive, first of all. Stop that. <laughs> the fappening should have been a good sign that you... N- n- don't. Don't even so keep them did. on your fucking phone. Like, huh? I, I was gonna say, just 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 to clarify, he didn't put them on Google Drive. The the leaker did. I did uh, my research. Oh, whatever. Somehow they got their hands on it, right? I, yeah, I would even Jesus. tell my like girlfriends, uh, like, don't keep your fucking nudes on the phone, even saved on your own phone offline. Okay, you have fucking TikTok installed. You know what that means? Xi Jinping is probably jerking off to your tits right now. <laughs> like, are you fucking dumb? Stop saving nudes. But also, but like, so, so the, the one female YouTuber that I was just talking about, she got catfished by some dude who used the gay Instagram model's photos, okay? They never video chatted, they never even voice chatted, they just texted, and she sent some fucking hundreds of nudes and videos of herself, like... But I, I don't know, try to, like, verify at least? I don't know, get on fucking face cam, right? Get on FaceTime at least, have him hold up a fuck, have him write his name on a piece of paper or something, hold it up to the camera, like, anything. Any sort of verification, step of verification between we just met and here's my butthole. Like, put yeah. something in between, like a filter. That always surprises me. Back when I was single and using Tinder, that was one of my main concerns was getting catfished because that shit had happened to a few friends and I was like, this just seems so uncomfortable. I want to avoid it. So every time I would talk to someone on Tinder, at some point I would try and steer the conversation to a FaceTime to just confirm <laughs> I was talking yes. to the person I thought I was. Like, I don't know how you don't do the most basic minimal amount of research to confirm you're talking to who you think you Reverse. are. 
<laughs> Reverse image search like Kiwi Farms found the gay guy's Instagram within like two minutes. And by the, the, the funniest part is the gay guy got wind of this and he joined Kiwi Farms and he's making fun of her now. Like, how the fuck did she fall for this? And he's like using Google Translate to make fun of her because he's like from Uzbekistan or something. It's, what a cunt. Don't fucking <laughs> do this to yourself, young people. Don't ever send people nudes if you don't know them, like in the real life at least, or if you, if, you know, if you haven't Again. known them for a while. Again, don't do that, obviously, guys, right. But also, it's it's you're not the bad person in this situation if your nudes are the no, ones you're that not. are leaked. Well, no, uh, he's not vilifying no, we're not it. He's just saying you're, you're not, not the really bad person. This research. is zero. You're, you're the dumb person, not the bad one. The bad <laughs> one is the other person who should go to fucking jail. You're just the idiot. Yeah, agreed. But all I'm saying is don't make it so fucking easy for the bad people. Yeah. I, I also want to get all of the information out there. Um, apparently, someone posted saying Adam Kovic was a dick behind the scenes or whatever. Still doesn't warrant any of this, really. If he was a dick in his personal <laughs> life, or if he was a dick at work, if he had a few bad days and he was a grumpy boy or something, I don't, I don't think that warrants his spread butthole being shared against his consent. And that butthole was spread, mind you. Yeah, I mean, there it was depends. So many I, I'm okay with. You guys know me. I I'm okay with laughing at bad people when misfortune hits them. So, like, I would not mind people leaking, I don't know, fucking Harvey Weinstein's nudes and laughing at his micro right, penis. I'm fine with that. But if. Yeah, I know. But I'm just saying, like, I don't have this black and white rule of, oh, never laugh at someone's nudes. Like, dude, you shouldn't have taken a fucking goofy photo. You know why I don't take nudes of my dick? Like, I'm not a photogenic guy, let alone naked. It's. Nobody wants to see that. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm just more bothered by, I guess, the double standards of it, because I can guarantee you, like it happened with Jennifer Lawrence, if this situation was reversed and it was a woman's nudes that were released in this manner, and this whole story had been falsely concocted about how she was also raping minors or whatever, then mm -hmm. it, I could tell you something, she wouldn't have been fired from her job. You know I, I mean? really oh, no. think it's more of just the timing. I don't. I genuinely don't think like if this happened tomorrow and 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 nothing else was going on this week, I think it wouldn't have been a big deal. Uh, yeah, just, absolutely. But that's that's so fucked up that that um, proximity to a different kind of controversy itself can affect your own controversy. Yeah. I get that they work for the same company, but co come on, he lost his fucking job and the company that he like the brand that he built for the last like seven or eight years because of really Ryan Haywood, I guess. And well, maybe, um, maybe you can help him Jackson. Apparently Twitter these posters. nudes when they first hit the internet were posted to a bodybuilding forum. Yeah. So maybe you can make a case going, Oh, he was just showing off his sick traps. He was just, he was. <laughs> just showing off his anatomy. Hey. Look how strong he is. He's a good looking dude. Yeah. I've always said that about Adam Kovic. Yeah. How did he get just, that strong, though, Andrew? Oh, I was not leading you to that with this, but that is a great place to lead into it now, isn't it? Because if you're going to be strong, you're going to want to show off your body. And if you're going to want to show off your body, you're not going to want acne. You're not going to want terribly taken care of skin. Mm -hmm. You're not going to want to look like a disgusting, wrinkly old man. No, no. If you've been opting out of skin care, I understand. The, the truth is that most of us actually care about our skin. We just don't know what to do about it. We don't know where to start. We don't know how to help take care of it. And that's why you have to get Curology. Curology makes skincare effortless. They create a custom skincare formula for your skin goals. They've got a cleanser and moisturizer that are easy on the skin and super easy to use. Everything ships right to your door and your first 30 days are free. You just cover $5 for shipping and handling. Curology is super convenient, super easy. I personally like how it'll make how simple your skincare routine is. They've got everything covered for you. All comes in one box. There's just a lot of stress gone, a lot of, a lot of comparing you don't have to do because they're going to help you find exactly what you need. They've got acne body wash, emergency spot patches, Pretty much anything you can think of, if you see it on your skin, they can help you take care of it. If you're ready for healthier skin and a routine that makes sense, 
you can give Curology a go like the official boys have. Go to Curology.com slash official for a free 30-day trial. Just pay for the shipping and handling. That's C-U-R-O-L-O-G-Y dot com slash official to unlock your 30-day trial for absolutely free. Just pay shipping and handling. See Curology.com for all the details. Mm-hmm. Thank Sweet. you. Um, Jackson, do you want to talk about your say? large man now? Ugh. <laughs> I... I feel too, I don't know, thinking about the whole previous topic, it's just kind of demoralized me about the internet yet again. I've, I always just feel so bad that things like that happen to people. Yeah. Because they are instantly vilified by everyone. No one does any kind of, you know, uh, more intense research into the matter. They just believe whatever headlines are presented to them. Well, you, then, well obviously, Jackson, there, there was a time... Where, remember Leafy said one thing, Pokimane had a boyfriend, and everyone for some reason believed it for, like, the entirety of, what, like a full month? Based on nothing except one general statement, and it was trending, it was big. All you have to do is say one thing, no proof, as long as it's, like, attention-grabbing, and people will just straight believe it at face value. Ask for nothing more. I, That's I would just think, how it works. I would think when it comes to claims of, like you know, actual crimes like sexual assault that people would dig a little bit deeper and think about it with more nuance, especially since he, Adam Kovic, didn't interact with any minors at all and it was a one-on-one -on -one relationship with someone consensual Jackson, of age. you got to remember, people want reactions and they want drama. Mm -hmm. If you come up to someone and you go like, this internet star had his nude pictures and minors may have been involved, everyone's going to go, oh my god, what a, what a juicy story, what a scoop, what an amazing thing. But if you walk up and you go, hey, here's uh, five pages detailing what actually happened and there were no minors and this didn't happen, this and that, they're going to go, I don't, I'm not going to read that. What are you, I've already moved on, I don't care. I got my reaction, I got my, I got my adrenaline shot. That's all I want yeah, from this. I already I already posted Do you remember my when reply. remember when Pro Jared disproved pretty much everything that happened to him, and then a lot of the people still said, "Don't care. I've already formed my opinion." Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, that was so fucking annoying. It, reading every one of those replies that were like, "I'm not gonna listen to a groomer," or "I'm not gonna listen yeah. to a rapist." Like, fuck. Jesus, <laughs> you are so fucking stupid. Yeah. See, that's when you. you that's so when you stupid. call them a groomer. If they're not, yeah. if they're not going to listen to any yeah. evidence, then call them a groomer. Hey, now I don't have to listen to you. Got you. Done. Yeah, that doesn't work though. Just I don't know. So, like rule two is rule number one, one. You know, don't send any random fucking groupie that's catfishing you your fucking nudes. Two, when you do get made fun of on the internet for it or people accuse you. No, don't fucking apologize. It aggravates me every single time to see these motherfuckers immediately curl into a ball in the fetal position. You're just inviting the bullies to kick you. You're just basically giving them the money shot cue. Like, hey, get in line. It's time to kick me now. <laughs> Stop. I mean, I... I Tell them to no. go fuck themselves. Yeah. No, I, I don't fault him. I don't fault Adam for apologizing in that situation, given the whole internet was against Why? him. Why? It didn't save his job. Yeah. Why? The apology yeah, just it, makes it, it you look guilty. It didn't do anything... Yeah, apologizing always makes it worse, Jackson. You can never apologize no, to the no, fucking mob. It always I, just makes it worse. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, I no, I agree. I'm just saying I don't fault him for it. He was in like a probably probably an extremely scary situation. He probably hadn't slept for days. His emotions were probably completely out of line. You know, he he was probably not thinking well, right. So Are you I can understand? I'm confused. I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand why he'd apologize, but I definitely think it's the wrong move. He yeah. didn't really have anything to apologize for. He was a victim. Like, I agree. But also I want to see one of these people who have their nudes leaked, like, double down and be like, you know what? I'm going to fucking ruin you now, you bitch. Like, whoever did this, I'm going to find you. I'm going to dedicate my life to this. I'm an internet personality. I work one hour a week. I have nothing else to do. You probably have a fucking job, you douche. I'm going to go after you. I'm going to leak your own fucking nudes. Like, just don't, don't just take it. Don't just bend over and have the internet fucking ream you. What did, uh, whatever happened to that um, other kid, Carson? They got accused uh, of being a fucking pedophile for... 
hasn't He's heard gone. have not heard from him since he hasn't said a single word online since that whole thing well yeah. kudos that's still better than apologizing he deleted all yeah. of his yeah. social media that's something but again I, oh the internet is so fucking weird no, and strange didn't. i don't understand how how like Carson and Adam did nothing wrong, and now they've been shunned off the internet and gone. But meanwhile, like, you know about Red Kiwis, Charlie, I assume. Is that his name, Red Kiwis? Yeah, that, that guy that actually solicited 13-year-old girls or whatever, 14-year-old girls, and he was a Call of Duty montage back in the day. And he's still popular, thanks to Fortnite. <laughs> and then you got fucking Boogie, who constantly fucking shoves his foot in his mouth, but he still has a career somehow. <laughs> like, what, what the fuck? Because, what is Jackson, happening? the internet is nothing but what can this do for me? <laughs> if Funhouse and Achievement Hunter and all their entertainment is declining, and these people are already established and around for a long time, then people go, ooh, I want to see them fall. Ooh, I want it to corrupt. Ooh, I'm so happy that this is happening. This is spicy, yummy shit. But if you have, say, Red Kiwis, this guy, whoever, who all finds a new way to re-innovate himself with Fortnite, people are just going to go, ooh, I want more Fortnite. Whoa. He's really good at it. He, no, he no, 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 no. He no, didn't no, reinvent no. himself. He's still got the same name and everything. So he just played a different the, game. The Kiwis one absolutely surprises the fuck out of me. This one I don't get. Kiwis himself admits to sending penis pictures to an underage girl. Like, he has come forward and said, yep, I was sending nudes to a child. What of it? And he's this was recent, right? Like, mm -hmm. I mean, it happened a while ago, but he he recently defended it and he is still completely fine. Uh, his Fortnite <laughs> well, channel maybe, is still fine. Maybe then it's the fact he got out in front of it. Like Ryan and Adam, the whole point is they were leaked. But with him, he's no, going, yeah, no, I did no, no. it. His shit. So no, he just started... didn't apologize. He's shameless. Or that yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. That's it. He took the power back from it, I suppose, or something. I don't know. Yeah, but, but like, his, he was so fucking weird. I was, I was reading into that, like, when it was big on Twitter for, a, like, a day. It wasn't even a big story somehow. He was, he had, like, posts saying, hosting an all-girls Fortnite tournament must be like, under 13 or something. It was <laughs> weird. <the> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sounds like Jonathan Yanov. He, he, uh, I remember watching the interview when it first happened, because this was back in, like, 2013, I want to say. Um... He he got into a call with the girl's mother on <laughs> keeps uh, like drama alert or whatever the fuck it's called, and and they had a big argument about how he's her daughter wanted it or whatever. He was arguing about the semantics behind it and how he was the victim. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I have no fucking idea how this was. If his That's audience <laughs> wasn't all children, and I th I I really think there's not a chance that there's adults in his audience. If it wasn't all children, this guy would have got absolutely blasted for Rightfully sure. So. I mean, he should have. He he should have. He should be the one. He should be the one that is taking uh, Adam Kovic's punishment. Fuck. <laughs> well, it's fucking dumb. Yeah, it, it is internet. super dumb. Yeah, I don't get the Kiwi one. All right, we should we should wrap though. Uh, do we have any viewer questions, Guy? Did you have any? Uh, holy shit, it's been an hour. Wow. Um, let me find the tab. Um, yeah, have you guys thought about getting a VTuber to come on the show? No, and that'll never happen. That sounds horrible. <laughs> they um, love the question. They like to hear their name. Jason Adams. Ah, uh, fuck. Let let me see. We can we can just save your questions for the bonus tomorrow if you want. Yeah, there really aren't any interesting ones. Well, any it, new ones, I guess. Let me scroll up for like five seconds. Can you can I, you pull another topic out of your ass while I try to look? No, we can just do it tomorrow. We can we can just do it for the bonus. Danny, what's your hurry, cuddle. Jackson? I just want to go. We to already bed. started late. You just what? Yeah, but it's daylight savings. Jackson, you yeah, just what? Right. I want to go to bed. Mmm, sounds Interesting. like uh, Yeah, sounds like this time change didn't make a goddamn difference. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, it was shocking. We've always recorded at 1 a.m. my time. <laughs> shocking that I've always wanted to go to bed. Even though we moved it two uh, hours earlier. Mmm. It is weird. Strange. Very weird. Yeah. Well, I'd be more tired in two hours. What's your point? I'm just, I'm just saying. Now now three of us are tired instead of just one. But that's okay. 
Why are you tired at like 10 a.m.? That's it's uh, that's 9 a.m. and I have to get up at 8.30 to be on time for the show. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. Oh, I have to stay <laughs> up late, even oh, though I can't sleep anyway. I have to stay up till 1 a.m. Oh, oh no. God, you fucking streamers are the worst. You fucking sit up oh, all Lord. night. Peak streaming. hours hey, matter, Jackson. Peak traffic you matters. You try it, Jackson. What? God, Jesus Christ. Just answer your mom. Just finish the episode. This is totally. It's my sister this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's probably calling you because your mom, your mom was she like, want then? he won't answer. <laughs> it's like a family emergency in your podcast. I'm working right now. <laughs> well, holy shit, maybe it is an emergency. If only this took place two <laughs> hours usually... later, this wouldn't be happening. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Thank you, everyone, for listening to this episode. Uh, all friends here, all positive attitudes. We'll see I'm gonna you next time. going to leak your nudes, Jackson. Whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna, take that. Fine, yeah. I'm not even going to plug the Patreon this time. Son of a bitch. I'm ending the episode. No, what Bye. the fuck? Fuck you. Patreon.com slash the official podcast. Fuck you, Jackson. Bye. Thanks, Bye. everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.